So we're going to talk about bipartite graphs and assignment problems. Now, every year in your school, there is some unlucky individual who does an assignment problem. You might have 10 teachers in your school, 50 teachers in your school, and you've got a lot of classes, maths, English, year 10 science, year 9 HPE. And some of your teachers can teach multiple subjects, and some of your teachers can only teach a couple of subjects. And it is someone's job to match all of the teachers to all of the subjects. It's a tough job, and it's called an assignment problem. All right, so we have our four teachers here. It's a pretty small school. We have our four subjects here. Um, now, I'm coloring them two different colors for a very good reason, because this is what's called a bipartite graph. Bi meaning two. Um, two different types of vertices. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to connect a teacher to a teacher. We're connecting a pink dot to a blue dot. We're connecting a pink dot to a blue dot. It's a bipartite graph because these vertices only connect to these vertices. All right, so let's join them up. Um, maybe we've got a different color here. So we're going to join Mr. A can teach uh, science and he can also teach PE. Ms. B, she can only teach maths. Uh, Mr. C can teach English and um, PE, and Mr. D can teach science, and that's it. So, it is somebody's job to figure out how to staff their class. And the easiest way to do this is to look at this and say, right, who um, can do the least amount of subjects? Who, can, who has the most specialised skill set? So, we can see... We don't have a choice with Ms. B. She can only teach maths. So let's assign Ms. B to teach maths. That's nice and straightforward. All right, tick, tick. Okay, uh, now let's consider uh, Mr. A. Okay, Mr. A can teach science and PE. That's two different things. Let's hold still for a second. Think about that. Mr. C can teach English and PE. All right, let's wait for a minute. Uh, Mrs. Ms. D. All right, Ms. D only can teach science. That's the only subject she knows how to teach. So we should obviously ask her to teach science. Okay, and science is taken care of now. All right, let's go back up to Mr. A. Mr. A can teach science, but Ms. D is already teaching science. So we should get Mr. A to teach his other subject, which is PE. And hopefully, Mr. C, well, he doesn't need to teach PE because Mr. A is already teaching PE, so Mr. C can teach English. Okay, uh, now, that was only four teachers and four subjects. In your school, there might be 60 teachers and 150, there might be like 300 different classes. So you should find the person in your school whose job it is to do this, so they're probably doing it right now for next year, and give them a pat on the back and tell them good job. Uh, that is what an assignment problem is. The best strategy is to start with uh, the ones with the least options, and then to work your way down and start working with the ones that have the most options at the end. There's just a simplified network without the extra subjects that people can teach. So you can see A is PE, B is math, C is English and D is science. That's the assignments that we came up with right there.